The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two very excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Scotty, I've got one very important question for you. What you got? Y- you ready? Yeah. That was it. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I don't That's know. It's a he very is. popular question around here. <laughs> yeah, yep. Are you ready? No, no. Just you ready? Oh, you ready? Okay. Yeah. My bad. Don't put fucking words in my mouth, you prick. Sorry, bad. Jesus Christ. Um, but we also you're already a- off to a shit start. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have another excellent Senate comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. The wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. Yeah. yeah. Woo! I'm yeah. the only one that doesn't get an applause. Yeah, exactly. You are yeah. a fucking talking mm-hmm. scrotum. I know. You, you I know. should get the crickets, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, I got you. I think it's this one. No, it's not that one. There it is. It's what was one. wrong with the way I was doing it? I don't know. I was fucking dead on. I know. You were, you were dead I on. thought that we were infested with crickets. Yeah. Really? Honestly. Well, yeah, because, I mean, it's totally likely because you're a filthy person. That's true. And this is your house. Um, right. You but, know what we uh, should do? We should just get some crickets and let them loose in here. Dude, you can get them at the pet store a dozen for a dollar. I oh, mean, it's, man. yeah. That, that expensive? I don't even think they're that expensive. Really? Okay, fine. You're going to fuck with the guy who used to work in a pet store. <laughs> <Okay>. You motherfucker. <laughs> he actually used to t- train the crickets. Oh, really? I used to, yeah. to come to your house, yeah. and now here they are. Is that a band that you used to manage as well, the crickets? Noisy crickets? Now you're just being fucking stupid. Okay, my bad. God damn it. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, welcome we should in. start over. <laughs> welcome in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. For those of you guys that this is the very first time you're listening to the show, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and also inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 95% of those jokes are targeted towards me, and I'm okay with it. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use loud uh, loud noises and uh, foul language, so if you don't like those things, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks and bye. Scotty, do us a favor. Try not dropping an N-bomb today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever do that. Oh, dude, did you oh, hear yourself before the show? Jeez. Jesus. November. He's that, the king of in bombs. Uh-huh, whatever. That's you bullshit. do it like most people clear their throat. <clears throat> it's like you that? just throw it in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Only you throw an in bomb in there. Yeah. <laughs> you have to consciously think to yourself, clear my throat this time. The first four years I knew you, I thought you had Tourette's. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It turns out just racist. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, Super we've racist. got a lot to go over. We've got the start of the Olympics. We've got some more news for the Major League Baseball lockout. We've got the this apparently big game that's coming up this Sunday. I don't know much about it. But, Puppy uh, Bowl. Huh? Puppy Bowl. Yeah, Puppy Bowl. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got Real Shit, Horse Shit, Bad Advice with Jeremy, Overrated, Underrated, Questions, Preguntas, A Draft, Shitty Situation, you know, the normal shit, you know? Yeah, yeah why don't stuff. you just do them instead of telling people we got them? Because what if we don't get to something? Then what, Scotty? Yeah, then you look like a fucking asshole. Yeah. I I don't know. I don't know, Jeremy. God damn. Sorry. Uh, But anyways. I I say that a lot now because of you. Okay, that's fair. Taking the Lord's name in vain. That's exactly what I was going to say. You make him take the Lord's name in vain. That is not right. Okay. Uh, But anyways, before we get on to the sports and the other funny stuff, uh, we like to talk about what happened to us over the last week. I've got a doozy, but uh, this is what we like to call our week, week recap. And as always, Derek. Well, I had kind of a shitty week. Oh. Yeah. Um, woke up today. <clears throat> yeah. Got a phone. Didn't get a phone call saying that you were dead. Oh. So. Sorry. It's, all week. He, uh, got, yeah. he didn't I've, get I've that been, phone I've call. I've been on pins and needles all week. Shit. Nope. So. Still alive. Yeah. And well. I know. Yeah. Not well, that well. Yeah. Uh, went to went to go see Burt Kreischer. Oh yeah, you did on Friday. Yeah, that was really good. How would he do? He did great. Okay. Uh, I about the last fifteen minutes, I kind of wasn't really paying so much attention to his comedy as I was at trying not to piss my fucking pants because <laughs> I had about seven Jack and Waters <laughs> and I hadn't broke the seal yet. <laughs> so, so I was uh 
hurting. <laughs> and uh, you know what actually would sh- would have helped with that? What's that? Yelling out, the machine! <laughs> oh, they did. Call the machine! Uh, sure. I had some dumb bitch behind me. She's like, COVID ruined hot summer nights. Oh, God. And he's like, what? What? She goes, hot summer nights tour. Oh, the it it stormed, right? And she's like, "Yeah, lightning ruined it." You wanna? Yeah, I came out on the golf cart, and I was there till like one o'clock in the morning. And she's like, "I know, we got video. You wanna see it?" He's like, "No." <laughs> oh God! And so then he goes, "We're gonna party after this. We're all gonna party together. What? Where are we going? What bar are we going to? Fuck it." And they go, and she goes, "The stop." Oh no! For those of you that aren't familiar with the stop, I think the seating capacity is like twelve. Yeah. Like, you want the entire theater, both shows, to go to the stop. No. It was the busiest night to stop ever <laughs> had. So they ended up going to the pump house. And apparently, okay. at like he showed up at like 1 a.m. and was just like, hey, fuck it. Let's go do meet and greet with everybody. And they had them all line up outside, and he did took pictures with everybody. God damn it. That dude is so fucking cool. Oh, he's a great dude. Oh, yeah. So went to that, and then... Uh, Guy will fuck your mother for free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then we went and watched uh, Jackass Forever on Sunday. Okay. Don't ruin it, but... Oh, yeah, uh, I'm going to ruin it. get hurt? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Somebody got hurt. There were injuries and wieners. You're going to love it. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. That little Scotty loves more than a painful wiener. Yeah. <laughs> but was it any good? Yeah, it was great. Uh, okay. I fucking right. laughed just as hard at that one as I did. Well, I think the funniest one was still the first one. Okay. Because it was this was a lot of fucking just <clears throat> like bodily harm centered where the first one with like the golf course air horns and oh, the fucking yeah. the rent a car smash up derby, oh, which yeah. was like my one of my favorite things of all fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the best. Yeah. But this one was still it was still good. It was still funny. What's crazy to me is they had uh some new people. Yeah, they had to. So, the, yeah, because they had Bam. <laughs> Bam's not doing it. They, there was a big lawsuit over that. Yep. They're pissed because Bam can't get clean, apparently, or something. No, he can't. And He uh, won't. <laughs> and should shower. Yeah, but he needs a shower and won't do it. But then they had, like, a 19-year-old. These kids that were probably 19, 20, 21, 22, and I'm like, the fuck is wrong with you guys? Like, you <laughs> yeah. grew up watching these guys do this shit to each other, and you're like, I'm going to do that. <laughs> you, you stupid You saw bastard. what it does to them. <laughs> yeah. They grew up together, I'm guessing, or were all friends before Jackass became huge. Mm-hmm. So you just came into this group of assholes. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. But it was Could hysterical. you imagine the hazing oh, in the Jackass God. group? Oh. You're going to consume some human shit. Oh, God. 100%. So it was like you did earlier, Scotty. Right, that was my surprise. Hazing. Yep, uh-huh. it was fantastic. And then I was at the went to the bar a couple times, uh-huh. had some fun there. I overheard one lady at the bar. Uh, she goes, she was kind of drunk, and she's like, "When's White History Month?" Oh. And I was like, "March through January." <laughs> That's not a month, Derek. <laughs> yeah, it's all of those ones. <laughs> and let's face it, February too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like for fuck's sakes. Uh, well, you're going to get them everywhere. Yeah. Let's face it. If it weren't for white people, black history would suck. <laughs> oh, God. It wouldn't be interesting at all. Did you uh, Did you want to tell the story of uh, at work? Oh, I had... God, I don't... This is kind of fucked up. But <laughs> it was really slow uh, because we had that big snowstorm this last week. Right. And so it was really slow at work. And so I just started asking questions, just random questions. And there's this one girl I work with. She's kind of, let's say, quirky. She's fucking funny, but doesn't mean to be funny. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I said, hey, what's your favorite national tragedy? <laughs> like, just to be out of nowhere. And she fucking popped off, like Titanic, instantly. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, all right, this is going to get good. That's not a national tragedy. <laughs> that was so, British. So then I go, uh, all right. I go, What's or then I said, what's your favorite animal to paint with watercolors? She goes, cheetah. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Fuck. Like, just yeah, boom, duh. Boom. Again, <laughs> right? And I'm like, fuck. Okay. Celebrity that you're glad is dead. And she said, Martin Luther King. And I go, <laughs> holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> like, my eyes just blew open, like, <laughs> oh wider God. than they've ever been before. And I was like, oh, my God, I was not expecting that. <laughs> and she tried to justify it, but just kept digging herself deeper. <laughs> and so then I asked another one of the other guys that I was working with. She was still there. And I said, what uh, historical event that would you attend if you could ever go back and just attend a, an historical event? What would you attend? And he was like, 
probably Jackie Robinson's first game. I'm like, that's a good one. That is, that is a really good one. I said, she'd be there. She'd be yelling at him to get off the field. <laughs> <laughs> Then I was like, who was your childhood crush? She would crush? have played Alan Tudyk's part right. <laughs> oh in that God. movie. And I was like, who was your childhood crush, James Earl Ray? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, God. Like, it, it, was, it was hilarious and just crazy. And then the other thing that I was talking about earlier, is that what you were talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's what I was talking but about. See, uh, see, here's the thing. She never would have gotten to answer that the way she did were it not for white people. <laughs> <laughs> She's oh, Mexican. Yeah. So but... Uh, but yeah. So anyway, the Doesn't other thing, change. the other White thing that happened him. was uh, there's a guy that calls into my work, I guess, every other day, and he says crazy like, "You got all the gold locked up down in the basement?" Yep, yeah, yeah, we got it all locked up. All right, and he calls from like Topeka. It's like an hour and a half away. Nobody knows who the fuck the guy is. He calls from some like center, rehab center, whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. But so they were <laughs> like, I was joking, and they let me answer the phone today. And they know what it is because it's on the caller ID. So <laughs> they I learned just, their lesson a while back. I just <laughs> don't let Derek answer the phone. Yeah, so they go. I picked it up and I just went, "Thank you for calling the bank. For English, press one. Para español, primer el número dos." <laughs> Nothing happens. Right, dead silence. And I was like, "For English, press one." And you hear. <laughs> And then I was like, to speak to a representative, press one. Oh, God. <laughs> so I had him pushing fucking numbers and buttons. And after he sp- I went to representative, I just answered like normal. And he said some crazy shit about an Italian championship. And <laughs> do we have enough gold for it? And then I said, absolutely, we're ready. Oh, but God. I think next time he calls, I'm going to do that again. But I want to just... Uh, be like cat in the hat with a lost debit card. <laughs> or not cat in the hat, uh, green eggs in hand. Yeah. If you've lost your debit card, press one. <laughs> if you've lost it here, press two. <laughs> if you've lost it there, press three. <laughs> if you've lost it anywhere, <laughs> press four. On a train, yeah. all the way. You got to do all the numbers. Oh, I would do all that. Oh, and yeah. I'd just keep going. You, you got to go past nine. Yeah. Like if, if you were held up by an infant with a pistol, <laughs> press one. <laughs> If the pistol was a nine millimeter, press one. <laughs> See, and I don't think this is at all funny. Do you know what a pain in the ass it is for me to drive to Topeka <laughs> every day <laughs> to make these great phone calls? <laughs> oh, shit. We I mean, just, that's our state capital. Right. I can't make that call from here. Yeah, Top Town, man. Top City. Top, is it Top it. City? Top City. Yeah. So fucking top stupid. Town. Nobody fucking calls it that. That is, uh, that's a gay bar, I believe, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes, top it Town? Is. Yeah, yeah, it is. JP hangs out there. <laughs> yeah, he sure does. He's the uh, president there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Scotty but, likes to hang out at Bottom Feeders. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Or Copters. <laughs> Big fan of Copters. <laughs> That's the, the male uh, strip club. Yeah. Right. There's yeah. A, they only have one move. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fireman slide down. Oh, and the other thing. There's a lady I work with. Her name is uh, Jillian, and that's what she goes by, which okay. is cool. Shouldn't go by Jill. Okay. But uh, we have a Teams chat, and the other day I just started using her name in every kind of fucking pun imaginable. Like or not, I guess maybe it's puns not the right word, but I was inserting her name into things. So like, okay. God, let, I want to go to Jilladelphia, <laughs> and like oh, Jillicopter, Jildo, <laughs> Jilly Bean, uh, oh, and God. then at one she got promoted, and she's like on. She found out she was on the high end of the autism spectrum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great, and I was like, oh man. The only reason she got that promotion is because she has disagilities. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and, and I fucking just started laughing. I was like, I can't. I win with that. I can't go any better nope, than that's, that. That's good. I guess she sent it to her mother, and her mother sent back like 12 laughing faces and said she was crying <laughs> laughing so hard. That's great. Uh, anything else? That's it. All right. Thank God. Whatever. Uh, you enjoyed that. I did. I really did. Uh, I had a long fucking week. I had a lot of shit happen. Uh, cool thing is I got to hang out with my dad. Uh, he got to come into town, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, took off a day so I could actually hang out with him all day. I thought you were getting ready to say he took off his shirt. No. <laughs> he He's like, hey, I heard you didn't get tickets to Burt Kreischer, <laughs> so <laughs> let's go throw the ball around. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, uh, but here in here in Kansas, we got uh, quite a bit of snow, actually. We got uh, a lot of snow, a lot of... Uh, and we're not talking cocaine. No. Uh-uh. No. 
No, we got a lot of. We're f- talking about that Canadian rapper that sang in <laughs> former. <laughs> right. Uh, he opened up for Burt Kreischer. Right. Yeah. He lick, he licky boom boom down. <laughs> he did. Uh, we got like. S- <laughs> I still can't understand it. <laughs> we got sleets, frozen rain, and uh, sleets. What are you, Squirrely Dan? Sl- sleet. You said sleets. I said sleet. You know what I appreciate about you? The sleets. <laughs> yeah. Sashimis fine. and sushis. Call <laughs> sleet, sleet, motherfucker. Sashimis. <laughs> <laughs> Sashimis. Uh, but no, we got a whole bunch of sleet and snow and stuff like that. So the roads uh, were awful. They were absolutely terrible mm-hmm. um, to the point where all the schools were canceled. People were closing businesses early. It was kind of shitty. Not mine. Uh, not yours. Um, but it turned out that my wife, my wife ended up getting off work early. Uh, because they closed where she works down early. So she got off about 2 o'clock, which ended up perfect. It was right after me and she, Dad went to lunch. she walk in on you with the blow-up doll? No. She wasn't, she wasn't no. Expect, you weren't expecting her home all no. of a sudden? You're fucking two inches deep? And no. Honey, it's cold. I got to stay warm somehow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, uh, I, basically she was on her way home, and, and her tire light comes on. I'm in the automotive in- industry, so of course she's going to call me. Me and my You're dad. not supposed to have lights in the tires. Yeah, I know. That, um, nobody can see those. Great. So she ends up pulling over to a, like a convenience store that has an air pump and an air check. So she's trying to air up this tire. Me and my dad get there. Sure as shit, she's got one of her tires that are leaking. I work at an automotive shop. I've taken the day off. Now I have to take her car into fucking work. And I didn't want to see anybody, but I ended up having to. Uh, so she ended up getting, you know, we dropped her vehicle off. And on our way out of there, I'm taking the back way behind where I work. And there is a sharp right hand turn and an aluminum fence that runs along that turn. Guess who took out that fucking fence? Nice. Oh, yeah. Yes, Too bad I it wasn't electric. Hang no. on. Was it the guy who calls Derek's bank? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Don't ask me to guess and then expect it's, me not to guess. I'm going the, to. Same guy. No, so I ended up doing that. Luckily, no damage to the truck. Uh, boss was not happy with me. Um, but, hey, it, it's fucking slick outside, dude. Um, so I did that. Uh, it was kind of a it had nothing situation. to do with the fence. No, <laughs> he's just not happy. With no, me. just not happy with me. Uh, then uh, over the, uh, the last couple of days, we had a celebration for work at uh, the casino here in town, Kansas Star Casino. Woo! It's just called the casino. It's the casino. It's the only one. Yeah. No, uh, there's a new one. I know. I know. They're p- apparently renovating the one. I, I don't City. remember. No, they're they've built a temporary building while they build the. Permanent one. Okay, whatever. They did that for the, the casino, too. Uh-huh. Right. Um, but anyways, we ended up going to the casino. Uh, my wife and I have been playing craps at my brother's house. He's got a nice craps table. So we've been being taught how to play craps. And so she had all the confidence in the world. So <laughs> I figure I'm going to give her $100 and uh, see how long she lasts. Ten minutes later, no money. Yeah, She blew $100 in ten minutes. I did. I went to the bar to get a drink. Came back and she has no money. She actually mm-hmm. blew four hundred dollars in ten minutes. Probably. You don't want to know what she had to do for the other three. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> but so that was she uh, literally blew four hundred dollars. Correct. <laughs> That's exactly right. One chip at a time. And uh, then yesterday I ended up coming home and uh, I was. I just wanted a, a chill day. There's not any sports on, obviously, because Pro Bowl get fucked. And um, I ended up trying to watch Boba Fett. Uh-huh. And I'm still pissed off that I can't binge watch it because it's still not done. There's so only one is, more episode. One more? Yeah. Okay. Great. <clears throat> what is that? Boba Fett. The Book of Boba Fett. It's Star the Wars, Star Wars bro. series. You don't oh, like it. Oh, fuck. How about you, Jeremy? How was your week? Was Leviticus um, in Star Wars? Was yes. That's, yes, he was. Well, speaking of Star Wars, Scotty, I watched a video that um, somebody brought up a very interesting point. Okay. Let's talk about Return of the Jedi for a second. All right. Derek won't get into this. Yeah, but, uh, I'm just going to Facebook. You guys go ahead. You remember <laughs> on the uh, the Battle of Endor with the Ewoks? Yeah. Okay. They killed a lot of stormtroopers, right? Right. Now, you remember when the uh, Ewoks first encountered the the good guys? Mm-hmm. What, what was their reason for, for capturing them? I don't remember. They were going to eat them. Oh. Now there's all these dead stormtroopers laying around. Mm-hmm. They, without a doubt, ate those fucking stormtroopers. <laughs> yeah, probably. Which uh, really made me stop and think about just what sick fucks they are. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that they're so tiny and we're able to take them out means that they're basically little orangutans. <laughs> yeah. They're very strong. Teddy bear picnic. Sure. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, um, let's see. On uh, Thursday, I went, uh, local comedian, friend of, of Derek's and ours, not yours, okay. Katie Getty. Oh, okay. Uh, she was uh, getting some new appliances. She's got a. Uh, she's getting a new stove and a new microwave that's like got the 
the range hood yeah. in it and a new dishwasher. And, uh, you know, she should be doing that, right? That's what she should be spending <laughs> her yeah, money that's on. that's exactly right. Yeah. Anyways, um, she apparently the company that was delivering them would bring in the new ones and install them. They would not uninstall the old shit. And so she, I, I offered to go help her with that. Good man. <clears throat> um, I hate her previous homeowner. <laughs> <laughs> the The stove and the microwave really weren't a problem. The dishwasher was apparently put in maybe by this guy who keeps calling Derek's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Try it now. <laughs> that guy. Yeah, that the guy. The only way that they could have done it was to install the dishwasher and then build the cabinets around it. <laughs> oh, shit. They had it bolted to the floor. <laughs> oh, my God. In a way that you can't get to the bolts without taking the cabinets off. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Uh, I have done this a million times, and by that I mean like five. <laughs> and That's a shitload of dishwashers. That's I right. have never seen anybody bolt one to the fucking floor. <laughs> Through the tiles. <laughs> oh, my God. And half this thing sat on tile, half of it just sat on the subfloor. So they had to put all kinds of weird shit in. It was just the most fucked up thing. What should have been a 10 minute job took two hours. Oh my God. Because we couldn't see that bolts were, we just thought it was getting hung up on something. Oh, and geez. so that was a lot of fun. So um, then uh, the next day when they delivered it, they showed up with the uh, microwave, and that's it. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> she get it from Lowe's? Uh, <laughs> Home Depot. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So uh, that was too far away for me to go fight anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, apparently they we're waiting till this week to get the rest of this shit in, which I guess what fucking choice do you have at that point? Right. So uh, things didn't go well for her. So, uh, well, now she's hand washing dishes like you should. Absolutely. Right? She should. Yeah. Um. Anyways, can I go on with my fucking story? Let's Shit, go. Yeah, sure, go Damn ahead. it. Get go to ahead. it. Go for it, man. I don't remember what the fuck I did now. <laughs> After all of that? Yeah, uh, I worked all weekend. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't come do your little fucking live stream or we, whatever the we fuck en you We ended up it. not being able to. Because right. be, uh, un unfortunately, everybody's schedule got all mixed up or messed up. Der or Jeremy had to get called into work. Derek was hanging out with his with his wife and Steve. I wasn't hanging. My wife was in Missouri. Oh, you just didn't want to hang out with me. Exactly. I oh, got it. And then uh, Steve ended up actually a good thing. He ended up getting uh, booked again for another show while he was in Denver, Colorado. So just it just ended up not happening. But yeah, he had to call all over the place to get booked. I'm sure he did. <laughs> he was <laughs> like, I do whatever he had to do. Uh, yeah. I, listen, you don't understand. I really <laughs> have to avoid going and doing this podcast with just Scotty. I he, mean, you need to help me out. He ended up playing a funeral home. <laughs> right. <laughs> He, he was that. calling up everywhere. You got all that gold locked up in the basement? <laughs> he, was, he was auditioning on the phone. Right? Yeah. So, anyways, uh, let's see. I watched a couple of uh, movies that I can't believe I had never watched. Critic with Jeremy. Go. Uh, older movies. Oh. That are like legendary movies, and I had never watched them. Uh, Boondock Saints. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. You've yeah. seen it. Uh-huh. Liked it. Good. Yeah. Very good. Especially when he shoots the cat. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Sorry. The movie was made in the early 2000s. I think we'll be okay. If not, late 90s. Uh, that was, it was 1996. There you go. <laughs> um, as was the year other movie our, that I watched. Year, oh. year of Our Lord. 90s. Yeah, Year yes. of Our Lord. Yeah, right. not, not BCE. No. no. No, Scotty, come on. Okay. Don't be a fucking jerk. What's the other one? Uh, the Usual Suspects. Yeah. I have not seen that one. Kaiser Soze. Yes. Um, I wish that was a real guy. <laughs> uh let's see also incredible movie okay um and i watched something else and i don't remember oh what it was but, but anyway that's uh basically <laughs> what i did with my weekend because i was too fucking tired to do anything else was your other one robocop too yeah god i wish <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking cutting edge man it yeah. sure is well have great. you seen the revamped uh rape scene in from RoboCop, no, you know where he shoots the guy's dick off. I, I've watched a lot of rape scenes in my life. <laughs> they mainly, <laughs> mainly the video of my conception. I was gonna say, <laughs> but, but, two guys uh, are trying to, two or three guys are trying to pull off the most ridiculous rape in history, <laughs> while holding her upright, still with her pants on. <laughs> 
<laughs> and this guy starts to pull his dick out, and RoboCop shoots him in the dick, right? Mm-hmm. Well, they have an extended scene where all these guys just come running out of nowhere with their dicks out. <laughs> and he just keeps shooting the dicks off. It's just one dick getting shot off, one right after the other. It's fucked up. Oh, that's great. Uh, well, thanks for, for, for that colorful My pleasure. ending of the week week recap. My uh, pleasure. Now we get to get on to the sports that did, we've got to go over this week. Did you ever see the Teen Wolf one? Remember the movie Teen Wolf? No. With yeah, Michael I remember. Oh, yes. yeah. I did. At the very end of Teen Wolf where they're playing that basketball game and he hits uh-huh. like they're at the, like right as they're winning and the whole crowd goes to celebrate, a guy in the yeah. audience has, has his, his dick, dick out. out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, does. really? Yeah, he yeah. does. Yeah, he does. God, uh, I've seen that movie a million times. Right. So you got you got somebody was looking really hard for mm-hmm. that to catch it. No you know pun what? intended. Speaking of dicks, uh, before we get on to the sports uh, part of this episode, Boy, Scotty's that's hungry. Sweet, <laughs> <laughs> that is a sweet transition. I'm no. gonna be honest with you. <laughs> Apparently, Scotty's gonna have dinner. <laughs> no, um, but no, we gotta give a shout out to our sponsor, which is Manscaped.com. All uh, you know, especially if you're not getting your dick shot off, you need to mm-hmm. make sure that it's clean. If anything. Uh, if it's hairy, then RoboCop doesn't like it, and he's going to shoot the fuck off. But if it's well groomed, he may miss. You know what I'm saying? Nope. Nope. Explain <laughs> it a little further, Scotty. <laughs> no, but see, you got Manscaped.com just trying to keep your dick alive, man. Well, they didn't have dot coms back in the RoboCop days, Scotty. They, they didn't. They just had you know your old brick and mortar stores of uh, Manscaped. Mm-hmm. Uh, Manscaped. <laughs> yeah. <the scorer>. <laughs> Manscaped <laughs> and Sons. They actually. Had, they- <laughs> They actually had a RoboScape. Right. They did. Yeah, they yeah. Did. half uh, half robot, half man that right. would just shave pubes. Mm-hmm. That's what he did. Now I can and tell it was, you, it was a real weird thing because in the eighties there was still Bush. Yeah, that's right. So and back in the day, I had used beard trimmers to shave my balls. Looked like it got shot off. By a <laughs> that's that's uh, the kind yeah. of shit they would do in the new jackass movie <laughs> <laughs> shave their balls with something other than a manscape 100 spoiler alert <laughs> yeah, really i haven't seen it yet oh uh, yeah uh but anyways manscaped.com they have excellent products like the lawnmower 4.0 to keep your nuts and butt trimmed nice and groomed get away get, get away from that tangled mess down there you know what i'm saying no well, especially, so explain it further. Okay, please. fine. While we get closer to uh, Valentine's Day coming up, which I guess is it's customary to you know have a lovey-dovey day with your spouse, make sure that you are groomed to perfection by using the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. That's a good idea. I'm just telling you, she appreciates it when it's not a big, huge bush. Just, sh- just saying. It. Plus, yeah. it makes it look bigger. Come on. A couple of years ago, I shaved my wife's first initial in there. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, was pretty cool. I fucked it up, so I ended up having to go with the first initial of her maiden name. Yeah. Mm. So that took some explaining. We're totally 90s kids because it was really cool to put numbers and initials in uh, in your head, like when you got your hair cut. Now we put them in our pubes, and you can do that with the lawnmower 4.0. God damn, I wish I was a 90s kid. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. I was a 90s adult. That's right. But not only that, they have tons of other products that you can check out to help with your male grooming needs. And secretly, females can use them too. I mean, it's true. But they've got uh, my favorite, the Weed Whacker, to get rid of all of your nose hairs and ears hairs. And that is now becoming a problem. Jeremy, you were correct. I now have ear hair. Good. What the fuck? I'm getting old. Well, it sounds like you need to buy a product that'll get rid of that ear That's hair. That's exactly why I have the weed whacker. You know what actually makes it grow? What? Podcasting. You should stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they have other products. They've got the crop cleanser. That's your uh, body wash and shampoo. But they also have body wash as well, all by itself, which is uh, all of these great products you can find at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps them out. That helps us out. That helps you out. And that lets them know that, uh, you know, we read the script word for word. The free shipping, too, because Scotty will personally deliver each mm-hmm. one. Each one. Yes. And you get to deck me in the face when I'm on your doorstep. He's going to be there. His dad. Dad's going to be with him. He's going to have a shirt off. <laughs> Telling the machine story. <laughs> Playing catch. Right. <laughs> uh, but do uh, check them out at I Man's. think Scotty's dad's more of an ultimate Frisbee guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know if he's even ever played ultimate Frisbee. Of course he has. Okay. Who had not, just not with you. Right. Uh, check them out at manscaped.com. Thank you to them. But We're now. Just talking about the 90s in a. I was sitting there, like, and I don't think I talked about it whenever uh, I went to that party, but, 
like in my in my era, the '90s, like the '60s were a big thing. Like the '60s and uh-huh. '70s were coming back, and now like yeah, the '90s right. are. Oh, shit. How fuck did you get in the '80s? Yeah, like you just got it sucked. Like really? you even had cool <laughs> colors. Like in the ni- in the in the seventies and sixties, you had like tie dye and all that was wacky yeah, combinations. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then in the the nineties, you had neon. Yeah, in the eighties, you had fucking brown. Uh, I <laughs> <laughs> just brown. Oh 60s. no, no, nineties were pastels. That was neon. I, I remember it neon. Was neon. I remember no, neon. No, neon was more eighties. Yeah, not. late eighties. Early I'm telling 90s. you. Look at look at fucking. Uh, well, actually, no. I guess it was two thousand five, wasn't it? <laughs> in back to the future too yeah. Yeah. Exactly. all that weird shit that they were wearing right? yeah but yeah um but anyways we got a lot of sports to get over or get to uh first things first uh we have now started the winter olympics of 2022 in beijing china did anybody watch no did anybody watch the olympics opening ceremony no well let me just spoiler alert that shit for you it turns out that it started out with a whole bunch of kids singing, mm-hmm. and uh, I was watching it with my brother. <coughs> first you thing, love kids. No. First thing popped out of his mouth, no shit, was, Jesus Christ, this is racist. I look at him, and I say, what do you mean it's racist? He goes, not a black kid one in there. Not a white kid. Not a Mexican kid. They're all Asians in there. Mm. Probably all Chinese, because it was in China. Exactly. Yeah. That's <laughs> like, good, good call out. And he goes, you know what? Some of the girls there, they just don't even realize how lucky they are to be alive at this point. You couldn't even understand them. They were so busy eating <laughs> fortune cookies. <laughs> Dogs. Uh, but yeah, it it was actually pretty cool. They did the, like a four-season thing. I thought it was pretty neat. And I like the Olympics. <laughs> they think we have four oh, did seasons. They sing, <laughs> did they sing late December back in 63? <laughs> yes, they did. That's exactly what they sang. Uh, but I always try to watch it every year. It's always a, a pretty cool thing. And they did classic. the Olympics on fake snow. They, they're it's doing... All, yeah, it's yes, all fake they, snow. They are doing the Olympics on fake snow. Um, that's unreal. Yeah, it, it is. That's going to put a lot of snow out of business, what really. If, what, if it's, what if it's potato flakes? Right, I, I like to think it is. <laughs> They're skiing down potato flakes. No it's bullshit. Rice. Come on, <laughs> there's no doubt that's rice. No bullshit. I just found this the the movie Home Alone. The fake snow yeah. was potato flakes. Yeah, I did not know that shit. Uh-huh. And it became a huge problem because it actually did snow, and then it got moldy and shit like that, and so it became a huge yeah, but problem. Think uh-huh. of all the potatoes you're gonna have. Exactly, you'll never run out. Right. I went to what I went with uh, to Burt Crusher. I took my buddy Nick, mm-hmm. and we mm-hmm. were talking about how I went to Ireland and stuff. Oh yeah. And he's like, I think we're gonna go for a 25th wedding anniversary, and I'm like, okay. He goes, so probably about four years, and he's like, I'm trying to decide whether or not to take the kids, mm. and I'm like, well, I wouldn't, because you know. There's a pretty good chance one of them's going to get home alone, mm-hmm. and then he's going to have to booby trap the whole house. Right. And yeah, yeah. Uh, but that was uh, the only thing. So now Olympics are going on. Go Sean White, get him, buddy. Uh, but of course, we are hearing more How and more. How old is he now? Who Sean White? Yeah, he's a year older than me. He's 35. Who is he? Sean White. Yeah, he's the very famous uh, half pipe snowboarder. He's he's ma- mainly famous for doing half pipe in the Olympics. He's got I think five gold medals. I believe. He was the first guy to ever land a seven twenty, uh, either seven twenty or ten eighty. Actually, I can't. Remember. Oh yeah, it was three three times around. Yeah, I would know him if he walked in here with a shirt off. I, I have no dude, idea. Speaking who he was. of ten eighties, I just did my taxes. Great. Yeah. Where was that? I don't know. <laughs> you getting some money? Getting a bunch of money? I'm, I'm getting a little bit of money. Well, no, I'm getting the fucking money that was mine in the first goddamn place. <laughs> right. Well, that guy's last name's Point Dexter. That sucks. There's, <laughs> did you see that? Yes, I did. Oh, man. Um, there, there is a, a commercial, local radio commercial for uh, some like some place where you can go buy burner phones and shit. Mm-hmm. And, and the guy on there, hey, the government just hooked you up with that sweet check. You mean they gave me back the fucking money I already earned? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, <laughs> you ass. Um, the government didn't hook me up with shit. Right. Uh, but the MLB lockout, There's uh, they apparently met. Did you hear about this, Derek? I heard they met, and the the owners are not giving in anything. Nothing. Which is bullshit, because the players have already have conceded a lot. Apparently. Already, yeah. yeah. They're like, all right, well... You know, we want this. We'll compromise here. We'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. And they they will not fucking budge. The owners right. will not budge. Which is kind of bullshit. And here's the thing. 
you now have players that are calling out Manfred, which thank fucking God. You've got two players. He's a piece of shit. He is a piece of shit. Trevor May, uh, and I quote, this is what he said. He said, not a single negotiation with Manfred has been in good faith. Manfred doesn't do good faith things. That's what he said. Then you also got Marcus Stroman. He tweeted out at, uh, it publicly, and it's still up. I can't believe it. The he, wrestler? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he goes, He goes. quote, man clown, referring to Manfred, and his boys need to figure it out and stop ruining the game of baseball. Put that shit out on, on social media. Should. I agree. Yeah. This dude needs to be fucking fired. He's who's awful. In, who's in charge? He wants to put the World Series in a city, uh, like one city, and not travel around to the teams to make them home field advantage. Like, this dude... Get him the fuck out. His okay. the The entire job of the commissioner of baseball. I've talked about it on the show before. Put your goddamn headphones on for this guy. I'm talking to you. Sorry. All right. Um. (laughs) But no, his entire job is to is not marketing. It is to protect the integrity of baseball. The marketing part of it is up to the owners and their fucking PR people. Manfred needs to stay the fuck out of that. Quit trying to change the rules of the fucking game. Quit trying to change the way that they do shit and just fucking commish. That's what your fucking job is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the closer and closer we get to where it's supposed to be, spring training, more and more it looks like it may not fucking happen. Yeah, I heard I'm that he wants to, to change instead of the fucking bats, he wants everybody to bat with the catcher's shin guards. I know <laughs> this is bullshit. That is so fucked up. It's not even they there. can't. You can't hit home runs with that. You're gonna really fuck the game up. Barry Bonds could. Sure he could. Yeah, it's yeah. cork though. They got cork. <laughs> yeah, they got cork shin guards. I was supposed to go to spring training. I know you were, and now it's I in jeopardy, bro. Yeah, it may not happen, and now it kind of sucks because we've decided that we're gonna go to Universal. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna so we're gonna get to Fort Myers, drive to Orlando, which is like three hours, yeah. get a hotel there, go to Universal, probably the, at least one day, maybe both that we're there. And I looked at some of those roller coasters there, and I don't know if I'm gonna have the balls to ride some of them. Fuckers. Oh, you big puss! I don't know, man. Grow a pair. I don't know if I can ride the Hulk and the Velocicoaster. I don't know if I can do those two. You're oh. a wimp. You're such a wimp. I'm hoping I'm too fat to get on them. Yeah, I gotta start eating more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's. <laughs> <laughs> then, I, then I didn't bitch out. It was just, God damn it. I need to lose weight. Right. But anyways, yeah. So I'm I'm hoping and praying that we do get his fucking season, dude. It's Yachty's last year. I want to go see Yachty one more time. Oh, that'd be yeah. fucking hilarious if no, they don't have a season last year. That would be year. awful. Him Fuck and Wano both. Fuck you. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, but, he literally got thrown out. Yeah. Um, but then also, obviously, we've got a lot of NFL news uh, over the last week. Uh, we had the uh, Pro Bowl, which uh, we'll get to here in a little bit. But officially... Like, legitimately the day after we recorded last week's episode, then Tom Brady comes out and said he officially is retiring. Yeah. We knew it was coming. I can't believe he didn't stick around for that roster bonus. So. I can't either, though. He did. He dropped out a little bit earlier. Mm-hmm. I think it's because he's not a prick. Do you think it was to get out of having to watch the Pro Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna get. He was going to get named to it, and he's like, ah, I'm not nah, doing that. I'm not going to do it. I'll be uh, damned if my last game's the Pro Bowl. It's going to be a fucking uh-huh. embarrassing playoff loss at home, damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> Um, but yeah, then you have uh, a lot of coaching changes. This is right around the time of the year where a lot of coaches get hired and fired. And, and it is, uh, the former Philadelphia Eagles head coach, Doug Peterson is being hired as the next head coach for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Mm-hmm. Good hire, bad hire, bad. You think so? Yes. Nah, I don't. I think that's a good hire. I like, I like him as a coach. Um, the dolphins end up hiring Mike McDaniel. Who? Yeah, exactly. Kay. Exactly. Um, there are some questions. I saw some. Was rumors. he in Run DMC? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, uh-huh. he was in. Yeah, McDaniel, McDaniel not McDaniel. McDonald. Yeah. Right. Um, Adam Gase is is being rumored to be the offensive coordinator, a possible offensive coordinator to release Josh McDaniels, who's now going to be the head coach for the Raiders. He's going to possibly be the offensive coordinator for the Patriots. Funny. That's fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. But whatever. Go do it, Patriots. Uh, and then there's also rumor that Jim Harbaugh is uh, possibly going to be a Vikings head coach. No, he's already told Michigan he's going to be back at Michigan. Okay. Last well, I knew that, that a couple days ago. That may have been old news. I yeah. just I saw that and uh, wrote it down. So. No, he, I think what he wanted was the Bears is the job he wanted. Mm. And he wanted a Gruden-type deal. Oh, okay. And but uh, but no. no, you guys said no because... Uh, because we're stupid. Yeah, because yeah. you wanted... <laughs> 
Uh, but there's some other coaching changes. Who, who did you uh, say? Lovey uh, Smith, Texas. Lovey Smith coach. got uh, got promoted to which I I really do like Lovey Smith, but I think that's a shit team. I'm actually excited about that one because now maybe all these goddamn Bear fans are like, should have never fired Lovey after going ten and six. Well, now you can go root for him again, fuck stick. <laughs> <laughs> the guy yeah. couldn't put an offense on the field to save his life. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so, and then uh, uh, the Raiders uh, interim head coach, I can't remember his name. He's, he's now at Green, Green Bay, Bay. He, special teams guy. Which I think is bullshit. And then, that's a hell of a step down. <laughs> it really Head is. coach to special teams coach. <laughs> and then, I uh, mean, they get paid like 1500 a year or yeah, some shit, don't that, they? That's the like dumbass of, of, of coaches. That's it. So Saints D coordinator became head coach of oh, the Saints yeah. as well. He coached in Oakland or not. Well, yeah, it was Oakland then. That counts. Right. Uh, coached, coached the Raiders for a couple of years in like 2012 to 2014. Right. And uh, was eight and, well, what's six thirty two? So eight and 24. Yeah. So fucking great guy. Great. <laughs> great guy. Yeah. Uh, but now speak- I will say Flores should have probably got one of those over us like that shit. That's what I was but. just getting ready to say. Uh, Coach Brian Flores is coming out saying that they were paid to tank yeah. it, for the for the Dolphins. Mm-hmm. Then he ended up getting interviewed by a couple of teams and I uh, guess claiming that didn't get any of those jobs because of racism. No, it wasn't so much that. I, well, I think I think what That's pissed what him it off. Fucking said Belichick uh, could text him congratulations. Uh, sounds like you're getting the Giants job, and then it was the wrong Brian. That was Dave. Oh shit! And then that's uh, kind of embarrassing. Yeah, and then I guess he said that Elway and them sh- he were like I don't know if they if they were drunk or they'd been drinking when they showed up to his interview. Oh, so. But they had to interview him because of the Rooney rule. Mm. You have to interview minority coaches. What sucks is like, like it kind of wastes his time. Brian well, Flores' yeah. co- time. Absolutely. Yeah. Because, I mean, and you can't be pissed about the Giants because the Giants were, that was the head coaching candidate on the market was yeah. Dable. Yeah. He was going to get a job. He was probably the most coveted. And so he was, if that's who they had, they that they knew they wanted him. Yeah. From, from the, the get go. Yeah. But why? But they had to interview Brian. They have to, and that's that's a that stupid wastes, rule. Yeah, it wastes his time. Yeah, I get what they're trying to do, and I'm all for you know diversity and coaching and GM positions and all that. But sometimes, like in that instance, and in the Denver instance, they're just wasting his fucking time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, big news though. Uh, this happened. I believe it was Saturday. Oh uh, no, it was Sunday. It was Sunday after the Pro Bowl. Uh, Alvin Kamara gets arrested on battery charges in Las Vegas after the Pro Bowl. How funny would it be if they traded him for Nick Chubb straight up? <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. you got Kareem Hunt and Kamara on the same oh, team. Oh, yes, that would Please be do that. fucking hilarious. Um, I didn't. I'm just now hearing about this. He was charging batteries. Uh, yeah, yes, he was yeah. Char- charging batteries in a casino. That's apparently illegal in, in Las Vegas. It, I'll be goddamn. It, it, you can, it, prostitution is totally legal there. But you can't, can't charge, charge batteries. batteries. No, I'll be goddamn. Yeah, his DeWalt was running low. Yeah, <laughs> apparently <laughs> it's lithium ion, and yeah. they just don't put up with that in the yeah. desert. You damn right. But no, apparently he caused major bodily harm to another individual. I was looking up details I, to see if it was a as a male or female or what the issue was. It doesn't have any details yet, so I'm kind of guessing he fucked somebody. He's up. got a hell it, of a. It publicist. doesn't matter. Yeah, it's a. That is a professional, elite professional football player. That you that appears to be a pretty fucking cool guy off the field. But that would be like fighting a bear. <laughs> I mean, you're. It doesn't matter. Any regular guy is going to get totally fucked up. Yeah, for he sure. could probably rip somebody's head off if he wanted to. Probably. I mean, I I wouldn't. And how him. awesome would that be if he did it? Yeah, they, it's like leave me alone. I'm charging my fucking batteries. And, <laughs> Be funny somebody's it, head off. Be yeah. funny if it was Joe Rogan. Oh. <laughs> um, I saw that video. God damn it! <laughs> but anyways, there was another thing uh, that I saw about this. His bail was put at five thousand dollars. So, like, it, wow. The the, the the article said caused major bodily harm, but bail was five thousand. He gets fined more than that for taking his helmet off on the field. No shit. It's like, that's like, insane. Like, come the fuck I, on. I mean, we're talking about a felony here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Five thousand dollars. Five G's. He probably got that in his shoe. <laughs> probably. And ten percent. That's five hundred dollars. Exactly. Yeah. 
got it. You uh, fucking anyway. change in his car seat. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, uh, honey, go out to my ashtray. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a bunch of gold double <laughs> eagle coins out there. Right. There were 20 grand a piece. <laughs> Just bring one in. Right. Cut one into fourths. <laughs> right. Uh, but next thing, obvious ah, shit. We can't. My goddamn batteries are dead. <laughs> <laughs> my coin cutter, <laughs> my Dewalt coin cutter. Just won't. Uh, but next thing on the list, big huge news, I guess, uh, and a lot of uh, our listeners want to know our opinion on this. Scotty's retiring. No, <laughs> the Washington football team released their uh, new logo, uniform, and nickname. On February 2nd, they are going to be called the Washington Commanders. I can only think of one fucking thing about this. They legitimately changed from the Washington Redskins, who were killed and taken over by the Washington Commanders. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Commanders of armies that actually destroyed Native Americans and then took over their land, i.e. their fucking football team. I think... They wanted to be called the Commandos and just play without underwear. Probably. That's what I think. I think that's probably. But but how about you, Jeremy? What do you think about this whole thing? His name. As a person who has given commands before, I find this very offensive. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah. This is cultural appropriation. (laughs) For all of us who have considered ourselves commanders, especially in the sack. (laughs) Yeah. I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> That's another. They thing. will be hearing from my attorneys. <laughs> <laughs> this is horseshit. <laughs> That's another thing I can only think of. What movie was it? It was an American Pie where he's like, "I am the Clint Commander." No, that's, uh, that, that is that, uh, that is Jay Jay and Silent, Silent Bob. Bob. Okay, yeah, that's Strike right. Back. Strike Back. Yeah, but uh, I, in all seriousness, I I don't give a shit. I really don't care. I think the logo looks it, like shit. It's Convi- as good a name as any. I mean, I, I, I think this, the, the commanders, I, I mean, come I on. Don't. It's, it looks like a fucking minor well, league baseball team. No, it's even worse than that. It's like a XFL name. That's what it looks like. It's an XFL name. They could have gone with something Maybe. way more creative I like than the that. Red Hogs. I thought that was good. And then he still had, could have the Hogettes. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Because, you know, they got the chicks, the dudes that put on dresses and right. the pig noses yeah. and all that shit. But, no, I, I, I'm not a big fan of it. I think it's stupid. I think the logo's shit too. It, it it's like a co- it's like a coat of arms kind of looking thing. It looks like garbage. I'm not a fan. Well, they couldn't keep calling themselves the football team if you saw what they put on the field. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they were lying, straight up fucking lying. <laughs> they were just a dyslexic what the fuck. <laughs> right. <It was> WTF, <laughs> WFT. <laughs> right. Uh, that's too bad. But I uh, hope uh, everybody in Washington, D.C. really enjoys it. Um, but the obviously, we got to talk a little bit about this. Over the last weekend, there was the unfortunate portrayal of I, not really football. It was two-hand touch football in the Pro Bowl to the point to where J.J. Watt himself even made the quote, I've seen walkthroughs more intense than this. Oh, it sucks. This is... Yeah, this is nobody watches f- it. Fucking stupid. I I watch the skills challenges. Well, then you're part of the problem. I, yeah. No, the skills challenges. <laughs> that's somewhat entertaining. This is a bigger waste of time than a Rooney Rule coach. I fucking <laughs> interview. That's what it is. So the other thing is, yeah, I'd rather I'd rather sit in on that Brian Flores <laughs> John Elway interview. Totally. Um, I don't think they have something that could make it a little bit more interesting, but I don't think they have the place kicker contest at all. Like, to see how far back guys can kick a fucking field goal? That, I think, would be more entertaining than the fucking Pro Bowl game itself. They have actually talked about doing that. Uh, Kickers actually don't. Their process for kicking field goals, their step pattern, it's very rehearsed, very, sure. like, they're afraid they're going to fuck up their approach to kicking if they do something like that because really? they'll like take extra steps and stuff. Yeah, is it kind of like the uh, the home run derby? Yeah, for, yeah, yep. it's kind of a deal like that it's because it's such a mecha- mechanized. Swing. Yeah. yeah, it's it, the mechanics of it are so practiced and timed out, and yeah, they don't want to fuck themselves up. Ooh. I think what they need to do instead of that is let's just have Gus the field goal kicking mule. Yeah, fuck yeah, one hundred percent. I think that all field goal kickers should be replaced with mules. I think so too. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, if you if you actually sat down and watched the Pro Bowl, uh, 
I don't even fu- fuck you. You're dumb. Why would you do such a thing? You did. I did not actually. <laughs> you wanted all three of us to watch it together. No, yeah. I watched Boba Fett instead. So how'd that treat you? Ha! It made me mad. The uh, last two are Mandalorian episodes. I know. Way to give it away, Jeremy. I uh, I don't think that's any kind of a spoiler. Isn't that an instrument, like a little guitar or something? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a lot of bluegrass bands <laughs> play the Mandalorian. <laughs> that's yeah. right. They got to wear that helmet while they I do thought it. Italian people played the Mandalorian. They, right. Well, I mean, if they got enough gold. Yeah. For the championship. Sure, yeah. Sure. <laughs> if it's not being hidden in the basement. <laughs> they got enough. <laughs> locked up. Uh, but now we're going to move on to <laughs> our Super Bowl predictions. So stupid. <laughs> it is. Uh, obviously, this Sunday, everybody excited. We've got Super Bowl. What is it now? Is it 51? It's still a football game. 51, I think is what it is. No. Oh, it's 56. 56. Sorry, my so bad. You've got it, the LV. Roman numerals right there. LV1. Yeah. Whatever. Las uh, Vegas 1. Las Vegas 1. Well, yeah, but it's not you in know Las Vegas. It's not going to be there. Camara. That's right. Um, but it'll be in uh, Los Angeles anyways. Uh, but we do this every year. Um, we like to do prop bets, uh, just kind of fun bets that we do. And I actually put them on our Facebook page. So if you want to print them off and have fun with the, your coworkers and shit like that, our uh, prop bets that we have here, we're only going to do a couple of them. But you can print that out at uh, Facebook.com laughing on the si- slash laughing on the sidelines. Jeremy, I think we should make an actual wager on these. Dude. Okay. I think that if I win, uh-huh. I get to hit Scotty with a kendo stick. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but if you win, you get to hit Scotty with a kendo stick. All right. I don't, All right. I don't like this bet. <laughs> and Scotty has to buy the kendo stick. <laughs> yeah, I like it. No. Maybe Trophy Smack will send him the kendo <laughs> oh, stick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, see if yeah. we can't get that going. <laughs> <laughs> send us a... <laughs> Send us a fucking golden crested kendo stick. <laughs> Sponsored by Trophy Smack. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'll do fucking advertising <laughs> all day long. Uh, knowing those guys, they are just hot a hunk on of it. metal. <laughs> Why is it shaped like a tire iron? <laughs> uh, but anyways. Oh, uh, but yes, yeah, so let's do let's do really quickly. Let's do some prop bets. I can see if my wife can part with one of hers. <laughs> She's got them all over the house. <laughs> sure, she does. Uh, anyways, Christmas trees and kendo sticks. <laughs> those, 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 those are the two that's what those double ass when they're not go, <laughs> yeah. don't have decorations that's on. That's right. Take the limbs off of them and practice your sword play. Uh, There's well, presents in the dojo. <laughs> <laughs> well, for what it's every worth, room in the house is a dojo. <laughs> Uh, apparently, apparently, after our our sports analysis, <laughs> me, me and Derek's sports analysis over the whole Patrick Mahomes shtick last uh, last week. You see, um, he did open the Pro Bowl up by throwing a fucking pick, <laughs> a pick six. It's great, yeah. It's so fucking awesome. I I'm awesome wondering if his family's fucking with his head. I know it is. I guarantee you, it is. He's just tired of reading about him. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, there's more. I'll, I'll I'll suck if it means you guys go away. <laughs> Do you notice he doesn't even defend him? No, that's my point. Uh. I was like, I was like trying to he, at least comment back to some of these fucking people, and it's like, you mean he, to tell me you're mad at Derek and myself because he, we think he should sit those two fuckers down and tell them to just stop? Somebody commented <laughs> hateful shit, angry. I don't, I don't oh, yeah. even think you uh, need to do oh, that. Oh, just yeah. tell the guys at the fucking gate, don't let them in. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I know, I know they've got tickets, but just don't. tell them they got lost. The fucking <laughs> yeah. World. yeah, we got nothing. For, they're not, they're not scanning. How do you spell Mahomes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that one L or two? Right. Certainly don't get him fucking luxury boxes. He tried one time in a press conference to defend when they threw water on the fucking Ravens Champagne. fans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ravens yeah. Fans, and yeah. he caught a lot of hell for that. Did and it? so I think because uh, there was no defense. It doesn't matter what the fuck they said to you. You're in their fucking barn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're going to talk shit to you. Exactly. Uh, but let's get on to some prop bets, you son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> prop bets. We're only do a couple of these, but we're gonna do the ones that I think are the most port, the most important that show how amazing our sports <laughs> analysis these are gonna be really dumb. is. The most important of the unimportant bets. Correct, Mundo. Uh, we're gonna go first one. Prop bet number one: the length of the national anthem will be six inches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, either just o- over the average, right? Uh, over. I am five and three quarters inches, <laughs> right? 
over <laughs> 122 and a half seconds or under 122 and a half seconds? Under. Under. You're going to go pick under? under? Yes. Okay. I'm, yeah, two minute. Mm hmm. Two minute national anthem. That's a little long. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. It's from a country singer, though. And that, the, is it actual time or how long it feels like this fucking song is? <laughs> how it feels. Oh, then that's definitely going under. <laughs> if it's a country singer, because he respects the, the anthem. Uh, no, but it's he also. going to fuck it up. No, it's also a, uh, a, a female country singer who. Mickey something. Uh, oh, well, then yeah. she'll definitely fuck it yeah, up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think this is going to be over, actually. I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with over. I'm so. going under. Okay. Coin toss result. Heads or tails? I think it lands on its edge. Yeah. And just teeters there and then stops. I I agree. How about you, Jeremy? Tails. Yeah. Tails never fails, baby. That's what I'm picking. Except when it does. I'll take heads. (laughs) You'll take heads? Yeah. You would. Uh, If it doesn't land on its side. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Next prop bet. Uh, The total score over 48.5 or under 48.5? Over. You think over? Mm Mm-hmm. I think there's too much offensive power here. Yeah, over. I don't know. Staff or not Stafford. Burrow's going to have to throw a lot. Maybe. Uh, next one, the jersey number of the first touchdown scorer, either an odd or an even number. Even. Prime. Prime? Yeah, prime yeah, number? Prime number. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with who? Who I think is going to score I'm going first? going odd. You think Jamar Chase? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going gonna, even. I'm, I'm, Cooper Cup. I'm going to go Cooper Cup, too. So I'll go even on that. Uh, not, well, we'll go, with, we'll go with this one first, and then we'll finish with I, I love how this, by the way, <clears throat> I'm just reading through this list of prop bets. Uh-huh. Number three, who wins the game? Oh, we're getting to that one. That's a prop bet? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, all those cool little side bets like, you know, who wins the fucking game. <laughs> That's the last one I was going to do. Who do you think's going to be the champion? All right, fine. We'll just go ahead and go with that one. And then no, we'll I'm just it. saying that's not really a fucking prop bet, is it? No, it's not. But it, it's on It's one. on your stupid list. Shut the fuck up. Who wins the game? Take this list and ram it up your ass, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> who wins the game? Uh, Rams. Derek. Well... Considering that Jackson Mahomes and Brittany Matthews aren't going to be there, I think we all kind of win. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Rams. Uh, I am going to change my tune. I'm rooting for the Bengals. I'm, I'm rooting for the Bengals. I, I really don't care either way. I think it's, it's the, this is the people's Super Bowl. We got, we got no dog in the fight, and I don't care which team wins. You're not allowed to say that anymore ever since Michael Vick. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, we don't have a That's squirrel. We don't dog. have a squirrel in the tree. But uh, I'm going to go with the Bengals. Uh, last one. What is going to be the color of the Gatorade bath? White or clear or any other color? Blue. Well, I mean, any other color. Okay. That would be your selection. Yeah. Any other color. Yeah, I guess. I, or it could be piss. It could be piss yellow. Yeah, depends what the jackass guys got in there. And that's true. How about you, Jeremy? I'm sorry, Scotty. I don't see color. Okay, <laughs> no black and white. You're colorblind. It don't matter if yeah. you're black or white. Oh Jesus mm-hmm. Christ! Okay, uh, no, but seriously, white, white, clear, or any other color. Uh, I'm gonna go any other color. Uh, I am also gonna go with any other color. It's got to be yellow, man. No, fruit punch. Fruit punch. Red. Usually okay, it's red. Fine. But I'm going blue to be different. Okay, fine. Because the Rams are gonna win. They're gonna blue fucking Gatorade. <laughs> I think they're gonna do it just to piss the Chiefs off. Probably. They're gonna have red. Okay. Uh, but now we get to move on. If you would, like I said, if you do want to go to uh, facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines, you can print the entire sheet of 25 prop bets I put out there for you. Have fun with your office. Have a good time. Uh, now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Uh, horse shit. Horse shit. Uh, That's what I'm saying. This is horse shit. Can oh, we go home? No. Uh, first one, instead of the Pro Bowl, the NFL should have the two worst teams play each other for the number one draft pick. Horse shit. Okay. They got to do something else, but that ain't it. I don't want to watch the two worst teams in fucking football play either. We've seen that on Monday night. I change it. <laughs> yeah, that's Thursday night. That's Thursday. Yeah, night that's game. I've that's seen it on Monday nights too. <laughs> that's true. It's it just kind of depends. I remember one where it was three to zero in overtime, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, God, this is fucking terrible. <laughs> uh, I, I'm I'm right on the money too with Derek. I, I think it's horseshit. You've I saw this. This was a suggestion from somebody, and it sounds it sounds 
better than what they have. I will say that this would be better than the fucking Pro Bowl, but you kind of can't really do that. I like what the NBA does, which is the draft pick, the lottery. I, that's what I, I say. like that. I do too. I think the, the, maybe the four worst teams in the NFL at the end of the season, they do th- 13 in the NBA. Do they do 13? Uh-huh. Oh God. I think you do. I think you do like I, five. I, I don't like that. And I'll tell you why in basketball, when you do the lottery, one player can completely change the complexion of your team. Sure. Where it can't really in football, even, even a good quarterback, if he doesn't have a good supporting cast around him, can't just come in and change up a whole fucking franchise the way one player can in basketball. I disagree. I think that in football, you, you can have a running back or a quarterback that is a first, first overall pick. And you have a, you have teams like, uh, like it's being rumored now that the, the dolphins wanted Brian Flores to tank. So they could get that number one draft pick. I that think player that player will help, but sure. it's not going to – like one fucking – you get a star college player and mm-hmm. he can come in and actually just – you can just give him the fucking ball and he can completely win you games. Sure. Whereas that's not really going to happen in football. Well, I, it's much more of an overall team sport. So how does it feel to be this wrong, Scotty? I guess it you know doesn't matter. It's actually 14 <clears throat> teams in the NBA. Okay. Well, I still think it should be the bottom three. I think you should have like a lottery. So that think, way it got to go more than that. I think I think if you do the bottom six, you think that I think that'd yeah. be too many. But anyway, how about you, uh, Jeremy? What do you think about this? Uh, I don't like it. This two worst teams. Horseshit. I don't like it. I mean, this podcast. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't need it, Jeremy. Let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck you both. Uh, next one. This is actually a fan's suggestion. This is uh, Justin Miss Justin Missluck. He wants to know real shit or horse shit. Matthew Stafford will retire and go out on top if the if the Rams win the Super Bowl. Horse shit. That is some horse shit. Yeah. He's finally in a good situation. Mm-hmm. He may want to leave now. Yeah, win one. Fuck. He may try to win two or three. Yeah, Jeremy. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's not. I mean, yeah, he's just now getting used to winning. Exactly. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit? The New York Giants should put Saquon Barkley on the trading block. Horse shit. Really? He has no value right now. Really? No, he was t- he fucking did shit last year. You at True. least want him to get some value. Okay. So if he ha- if he comes out and he's on fire to start the season through week four or week five, then yeah, you can do it. Mm-hmm. But whenever he finished like he did this year and hurt again, True. you have no value. Yeah. You're not going to get shit for him. You might get a third or a fourth rounder. Yeah, if you might be able to get a second rounder, possibly a first, if he's fucking tearing it up the first fight, you get a t- you get something that happens like that did with Derrick Henry, mm-hmm. and now all of a sudden you can replace him with another fucking Pro Bowl linebacker, and then whenever Henry comes back, he's splitting carries, which is dangerous. Yeah, yeah, no, and I think that's also uh, what the NFL is slowly moving to is going to be a two man backfield. Uh, oh, it is. It, it's, it's, it's there. It's it's there for some teams, but you have teams like Derek or uh, like the Tennessee Titans with Derrick Henry. He gets everything. There's a lot fewer with one than there are with two. Right. That's exactly. Yeah. Right. There's like four teams. There's yeah. Harris, Henry. I can't think of who the fuck else. Yeah. Um. But yeah, this is this is horseshit. I agree with Derek. Uh. I I don't think. Not only that, if you trade off Saquon Barkley, a, a you're exactly right. What are you going to get for him? Uh, but B, that is your fucking franchise right now. Who else do you have on your fucking team? So no. I mean, that that's really not the thing though. I mean, you lose with him or without him. Sure. I mean, it's it's not like he's really going to help you win. But yeah, Derek's absolutely right. He's got zero trade value, and he's kind of shown that he can't stay healthy. So teams would probably avoid him like the fucking plague. Yeah. Uh, this is actually kind of a fun one. Uh, real shit or horse shit, an offensive lineman will score a touchdown in Super Bowl 56. Horse shit. Really? Yeah, absolute horse, horse shit. shit. There's always one. No, there's there's always. I, I say this is in real like 1% shit. 1% of the games. I know, but I think that this <clears throat> is a Sean McVay-esque trick. And I think this is real shit. I think there is going to be a offensive lineman who gets designated as a receiver that okay. ends up well, getting the Well, then he's the not a lineman. In. He's a he's a eligible receiver at yes. that point. Yes, yes, that's there, what I mean. There will not be a play where there's a fumble no. and an offensive lineman recovers it, or where they would, for some stupid reason, hand off to an offensive lineman. Correct. I I, I just think that this this is something that Sean McVay will try and do. And uh, it's going to be a, a normally a position offensive that, lineman. That's this is, very well. This is real shit. I I hate when they do this. I love it though. I mean, in the Super Bowl especially, 
You have the pass catchers who have gotten you there all year fucking long. Yeah. And now you're going to give a touchdown to somebody else. It happened to fucking Walter Payton mm -hmm. in 85. Yeah. 86, actually. Yeah. Yeah. He never scored a fucking Super Bowl touchdown. You know why? Great, one of the greats of all time. Ditka thought he did already. Ditka didn't realize he hadn't scored. That's the only reason he didn't get one. You know, and that's that sucks. That's weird that Ditka wasn't paying attention to the game. <laughs> <laughs> that's how well in hand they had that thing that Ditka was not watching. Yeah. Um, last one, and the only reason we've already touched on this before, but it's actually been called out over the uh, over the weekend. Tyree Kill was at the NHL All Star Game, was interviewed, and uh, he called out. Usain Bolt saying that he would beat him in a race and then he chugged two beers. Real shit or horse shit, Tyreek Hill would beat Usain Bolt in a 100 meter dash. <laughs> this is such far fetched horse, horse shit. shit. So Usain what Bolt are you is doing? At one time, the fastest man alive. Yes. He is. They've done studies like on his body. His body is made to sprint. He is more built like a fucking cheetah. Than Ty he is a human being. Tyreek Hill did run track, and he's he very fast. He is very fast. However, it's not like he was undefeated as a track star. No. And this guy, Usain Bolt, fucking was for against the best track years. stars in the world. In the world, not just in college, in the world, set world records. Tyreek, what the fuck I mean, are yeah, you doing? He's, he's a little older because he knows it's not going to happen. He's, I don't know. Usain Bolt's Jamaican. He doesn't even speak English. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I... Not distinguishable English. Get smoked if this shit happens. Did you say horseshit yet? Yeah, it's horse. I haven't yet, but it's horseshit. Okay, I just want to Ain't no sure. fucking way. All right. That guy needs taken down a peg or two. God damn, you're not kidding. All right, well, now we get to move on to Jeremy's new favorite part of every I don't like single it, actually. <laughs> oh, you don't? Uh -uh. Uh, well, whatever. Every, Other people do. Everybody else seems to like it. This is bad advice <clears throat> from Jeremy. Jeremy has something to say, though. I do. Um, for the people who are writing in, I, I do appreciate your questions. We do. Um, I do want to say this, though. Details and context are very important to this. I can't really do anything with, every time I get home from work, my wife bitches at me. You got any advice? Yeah, ask less vague questions. <laughs> That's what my fucking advice is on that. I, I, I can't do, everybody's wife bitches at me when they get home from work. It's just in their DNA. So, That's yeah, right. if, if you guys can, like, add a lot of context, give me as many details as you can. That way I can customize this bad advice for your situation. Correct. And that's the most important part, and that's what makes every single one of these funny. Uh, but anyways, yes, bad advice with Jeremy this week is from, uh, I believe this is a, our first female to Ooh, it's to, a lady. Yeah, I believe so. Can I buy you a fish sandwich? <laughs> you, you know, doggy style. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's the butt, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, and I also enjoy tennis. <laughs> Sometimes you got to get a thumb up there. Sometimes two thumbs, like the fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there would be some smell. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shower. <laughs> Great. All right, bad advice this week uh, with Jeremy is going to be this is uh, at Sarah Burl. Either B Sarah Bear LC, actually, that's what it is. At Sarah Bear Sarah Bear LC. Uh, she writes, Jeremy, I would like your advice. I am currently in vet school getting good grades and have well over 200 hours of experience working in clinics. And I am all, I am certified to be a veterinary assistant. However, no one will hire me as an assistant. How do I get veterinarians to hire me? Well, first off, this is how you know a question's legit. Grad students always use phrases like, I'm getting good grades, you know. No shit, you're in grad school. It's kind of assumed, yeah, you're doing all right. Typically, when somebody says, I'm getting good grades, that's a solid B minus average. Uh, they just don't want to tell people about it. But here's, here's, here's the problem, okay? You got 200, over 200 hours working in clinics. Okay, that's, that's a solid five work weeks under your belt there veterinarians don't want to hire somebody who knows more than they do <laughs> that kind of fucking experience holy shit that's definitely worth bragging about i don't know why they haven't given you a field promotion to a full-fledged vet yet maybe even made you dean of the vet school 200 hours <laughs> oh my god 
So you're going to want to leave that off your resume when you go to apply if you're just so intent on doing this. Now, I have no actual personal you know, uh, experience being a veterinary assistant, but I do have experience as a comedian. So I can tell you this, you're going to want to get headshots. <laughs> <laughs> Makes everything better. That'll ensure success for sure. So you're going to want to put that right on the cover of your resume. Second of all, you're going to want to look at what does a veterinary assistant do? Mostly they clean up after sick animals. So I would attach a long form essay about how much you love poop, <laughs> the joys of poop, maybe give them some of the websites of your favorite poop sites. <laughs> Something classy though. Yeah, really, really show them. And then maybe attach a video showing them how good you are at inserting a rectal thermometer. <laughs> show them how you can save them money by not using lube and instead just doing it with spit. <laughs> but really, that's uh, that's about all the, the best advice that I can give, I think. Um, yeah. Also, let them know that you don't mind seeing animals die. Because that's what, what really happens, I think, at most vet clinics. At least once a day, you're going to have to put an animal down. And if you find as much joy in that as a lot of people do... Definitely keep it up. But I don't think that that's really going to be a problem because you're going to be a vet real soon. 200 hours. God <laughs> damn. That's my advice. Oh, poor Sarah Bear. Oh, man. Well, thank you, Sarah Bell. Or Sarah, I keep on wanting to say Sarah, Sarah Bell. Well, that's because you're an idiot. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> Sarah Bear LC, thank you so much for writing in. Appreciate it. That is bad advice with Jeremy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to write all over you there. Cocksucker. My bad. Here, you want to give me back? Yeah. Okay. Good. Don't draw a dick on my arm. I'm not drawing a dick. Okay. What are you drawing? <laughs> what do you? What'd you write? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Now we get to move on to more fun stuff. We get to move on to overrated and underrated. Again, if you guys have any suggestions for this, go to our Instagram at laughing on the sidelines and uh, send us some overrated or underrated uh, suggestions. We'll give you a shout out on the show. Uh, that's also the same thing with bad advice. Whenever you have bad advice or questions, send them to Instagram at laughing on the sidelines. I do check uh, as many of them as I can. And if we like one that you send in, we'll give you a shout out on the show. So first one, Overrated or underrated? Valentine's Day. Overrated. Oh, buddy, you're stepping out on the ice. I don't give a shit. It's <laughs> fucking something made up by greeting card companies so they can sell cards. Because yeah. they're like, eh, shit, we ain't got nothing going on in January. Mm -hmm. And nobody sends President's Day cards. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, fucking overrated. I'm not, I don't do shit on Valentine's Day. Yeah. At all. My wife and I hate it. I used to have a, a friend of mine and her boyfriend would get each other the shittiest gifts possible. So it would be like a rake, mm -hmm. but the only part that was wrapped was the rake part. So it's a wooden, <laughs> like a shit. This is either going to be a broom or a rake. Yep. Or a snow shovel, I guess. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's fucking stupid. This is so overrated. Um, all of the listeners out there, if you are single and looking for a, a female or male for that matter... Um, you want to try to target somebody that thinks that this day is absolutely stupid because it is, I am very happily married to my wife and we think it is the dumbest fucking day on the face of the planet. It's an excuse for men to go out and buy flowers. So you don't get into trouble. What you should do is completely avoid this day at all costs and give her flowers on random days. They like that more anyway. This is overrated. Yeah. March 14th is where it's at. March 14th. Totally. Yeah. Steak mm -hmm. and blowjob day. Steak and blowjob day. <laughs> Jeremy? Um, well, you guys know that I have a lot of experience being married. I've got well over 200 hours <laughs> <laughs> of marriage time under my belt. And I can tell you that last year, uh, we both forgot it was Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's how little it means to us. I can not have sex any day of the year. I don't need a special day for this. 100%. Uh -huh. Totally agree. So I'm saying overrated. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated, driving on icy roads. What do you mean? After it snows, going out and, you know, driving around. Oh, way underrated. 
dude, who doesn't love driving on icy roads and, <laughs> you know, basically putting your life into fate's hand? <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Exactly. Who doesn't <laughs> love giving up all of their ability for defensive driving and just hope it turns out for the best? Love it. Yeah. Uh, this is way underrated. I really enjoy going out and driving in the snow. I love it. In fact, I like to find a parking lot that's abandoned. Mm -hmm. but that's snow, Scotty. You said icy roads. Icy roads, icy parking lot, snowy roads, snowy parking lot. Uh, they're totally different. Potato, yeah. potato. I you can fucking. drive in snow. Ice is a whole different thing. Same uh -huh. thing. Put it on ice in a parking lot. <laughs> I want to do donuts. Get Good for you, Scotty. Yep. Underrated. You, maybe you should quit buying a fucking girl's car and get one that can do donuts <laughs> without fucking ice. I don't know. True. How about you, Derek? I'm going to say I, I hate driving on them. I fucking hate it. But it works to my advantage on certain certain times. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say underrated because when I'm drunk, the whole road is a lane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, probably got me out of a few DUIs. Sure. So I'm going to say underrated. Yeah, cops probably, ain't going to pull you over in that shit. No. Oh, what fun, are they going to get no. on you for swerving? Everybody was fucking swerving. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's. Uh, I, I agree with you there. Next one, overrated or underrated, women who wear leggings. Overrated. Oh. And I've gotten into this argument with my wife. They're not pants. <laughs> They're not fucking pants. You don't put on your best sweatpants to go anywhere. They're That's what they are. They're not pants. <laughs> yeah. Now, granted, sometimes they you, you see a lot, but sometimes, too, like they had those TikTok leggings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That sh give you an ass that isn't there. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> I don't know, man. They made my butt look great. But <sighs> they did. <laughs> That's how you spent your weekend. Right. Full. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a tricky one. This can be very underrated. Mm-hmm. But it can be very overweight. I mean, overrated. Overweight, yeah. <laughs> be very fat. <laughs> I mean, let me tell you. You there, can see some fupa. <laughs> that's right. There are some situations where this can be extremely overrated. And I mean, I mean, my hat's off to some of you ladies. Uh, but this can be very overrated. Yeah, it's just not cute girls that wear those things. <laughs> no, everybody wears these things. Yeah, they make those size, those things in XXXXXL. <laughs> That's right. And uh, you shouldn't if you have to buy them in that size. Jeremy? Um, okay, I'm going to say this, that leggings are underrated. Okay. But that's not what you asked here. The women who wear leggings, way overrated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, curling. Like with weights? No, the uh, Olympic sport, uh, curling. Olympic anything overrated. That's all I got for that. Fuck you. Curling under fucking rated. Oh, yeah, baby. I want to throw some rocks at it on ice. You I want to glide. Throw rocks. I want to glide. I want to slide those bitches in there. Fucking Italians. Kiss my ass. Underrated. Jeremy? I'll never forget the last Olympics, the Miracle on Ice Part 2. <laughs> when the U.S. defeated Canada yeah, in men's curling. Uh -huh. That was one of the biggest, you know, underdog stories <laughs> in the history of curling, in the long and storied history of curling. <laughs> Maybe the greatest story ever <laughs> in curling. I'm going to say it's underrated just because it is so fucking boring. And for people to watch you lose your fucking mind over it. <laughs> yeah. I love to get unnecessarily excited <laughs> when curling is on. Absolutely. You know what I wish they would do? What? I wish they would just f put some of the summer Olympic sports mm -hmm. in the winter Olympics. Okay. Like, let's have the triple jump on ice. Fuck yes. <laughs> With tennis shoes. 100 percent. that would be hysterical i would watch oh, yeah. that all day oh yeah uh-huh yeah i mean think of the just the long jump think of, like just fucking bust your ass <laughs> you go to land and bam <laughs> that's right pole vaulting needs to be that 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 definitely needs to be a winner's i think there should be like a you know like a competition like 
Javelin throwers versus biathletes? Yes. Biathletes? Yeah. What, what? <laughs> Why do they have to be sexually oriented there, Jeremy? They don't. Just you do, Scott. <laughs> okay. But I'm, one, one's throwing spears, the other's shooting guns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and just have them line up against each other. I the, They're shooting 22, so the javelin guy's probably got a little better range, actually. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Last one. Overrated or underrated? Old people winking at you. Overrated, it's creepy. <laughs> yeah? Oh, God, that's creepy. <laughs> oh, come on, man. No. Those saber-toothed tigers giving you a little wink? Uh-uh. Yeah. Well, it depends on how they're winking. Is it with their eyes or is it when they're bent over? Either. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> this is overrated. I found this and I just started giggling. Uh, yeah. Old people, I don't care if you're a cougar, a saber-toothed tiger. If you wink at me at the bar, I'm uncomfortable as shit. Jeremy? Um, I'm going to go with overrated. I mean, you know, old people aren't so old anymore. And, um, <laughs> generally, when they wink at me, that means they're having a stroke. <laughs> Which gets me horny, and then I have a stroke. <laughs> right on. Good for you, buddy. Thanks. You're welcome. I appreciate your encouragement. You're yeah, no Like, problem. I appreciate a nut ache. <laughs> Well, now uh, that was overrated and underrated. Again, suggestions, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram. But now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. We've actually got some fan questions in the, on this one. Uh, so we're going to start off and hit the ground run going quickly. Uh, first question is from at Drake Baldwin Country Boy. Uh, he wants to know, lines in a rated R version of Sesame Street. God Damn it, Snuffleupagus, you got into all the cocaine again. <laughs> Ernie's going to cut your dick off. Hey, Bert, you want to go in the back room and uh, tug on my rod? Jeremy? Oh, that was it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bert. What kind of R-rated movies are you watching? Uh, <clears throat> no shit. <laughs> Pornos, Bert. <laughs> They're not rated R. Oh, those are X? Yes. Ah, that's okay. Depending on how how hardcore, there's multiple levels of X. True. Kind of like in leggings. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jeremy? I think there would be songs by the Coochie Monster. <laughs> <laughs> and they would sing Rubber Dicky for sure. <laughs> uh, of course they would. And those aliens with the telephone, there would definitely be phone sex happening <laughs> on those. Uh, great. All right. Next question. What are figure skaters really thinking when they're getting ready to start their routine? Man, fuck Trevor. Why is he going to wear pants? I'm freezing my puss <laughs> off. <laughs> my outfit looks fabulous. Jeremy? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That nothing this tractor beam? Yeah, I mean, they're zoned in. <laughs> they're professional right. athletes. Right. I wonder if Tyreek Hill could be in your same boat. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, all right, next question. This is another fan question. This is from Chandler Ed 501 I believe that's what it is. Uh, but Chandler ED. Yeah, Chandler so, ED501. He's got the erectile dysfunction. Sure does. Good for you, man. Uh, they got pills for that now, so you're going to be okay. Uh, they want. He wants to know blank the new instrument that Stomp uses. Bowl of Rice Krispies. <laughs> <laughs> that got a smirk. <laughs> that would actually be so much more pleasurable. <clears throat> oh shit! I uh, <laughs> uh, the drill dough. That's what I went with. Okay. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, the severed heads from the guys in Jabberwockies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus Christ. All right, next question. I've got 99 problems, but blank ain't one. Mesothelioma. <laughs> it even rhymes. <laughs> uh, dwarfism. That's mine. Are you sure? Yes. For what it's worth, I looked this up, and 
<laughs> I wanted to make sure that that was the technical term, but just because they were so nice, they made sure that they put symptoms underneath that. And it says can be self-diagnosed pretty easily. <laughs> it fucking said that. Anyways, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, sump pump. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I used to have a hundred problems. <laughs> oh god damn. All right. Uh let's see. I believe this is the last question. Yeah, last question. Life for the Native Americans was changed forever when the white men introduced them to blank. There's obvious answers here. Mm-hmm. Death. Yeah, blankets, bullets. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go with dunk tanks. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Yep. Mine was dying. Death. How about you, Jeremy? Nickel slots. <laughs> <laughs> and commanders. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh, man. That's great. And oh. multi-level marketing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> NFTs. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. Well, that was questions and preguntas for this week's episode. Again, if you have any suggestions, send them to us at Instagram at laughing on the sidelines. But now we get to move on to, well, one of the most popular parts of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines Drift. And uh, you guys, what? you guys, what? We have a very special guest on the show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have 1990s Tim Allen. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Ooh. There he is. There he is. Jesus. Yep. Uh, is yes. he gone? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, but, anyways, we got, uh, well, Jeremy won the draft last week. Damn right he did. Bullshit. Yeah, he did. Derek came in second. And I'm back to what I normally do, which is coming in dead last. Yep, you're right there on the bottom like yeah, you usually are. Mm-hmm. I know, yeah, yeah, great, great, yeah. great. Getting Power coptered. Bottom. Yeah. Uh-huh. But uh getting coptered. Is mm-hmm. nice. <laughs> coptered. But uh but yeah, this week uh this draft obviously Right Jeremy, there in the basement with all that gold. <laughs> <laughs> this week's draft, uh since I uh, took last place, I get first pick. Derek came in second, gets the uh sandwich pick, and Jeremy gets two picks in a row, the championship picks when we do our mm-hmm. draft. And this week's draft are going to be best American city names. US, oh, American city names. Yeah, okay. U.S. city names. USA, USA, USA. In, in honor of the Olympics. Um, so, yeah, I get to start. And uh, God dang it. I just, I guess you just kind of have to go with Ding Dong, Texas. Okay. I mean, you know, you got to have a dick joke in there somewhere. Ah. Uh, but yeah, how about you, uh, Derek? You get next pick. Intercourse, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> Fuck, that's a good one. And Jeremy, uh, Pussyville, Pennsylvania. Is that real? Yeah. <laughs> really? Okay. Where, where Aaron Rodgers is from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How uh, about your second pick there, Jeremy? Spread Eagle, Wisconsin. Fuck, I was going <laughs> for that one. Those people at Spread Eagle really like uh, missionary position. You know what I'm saying? No. Oh. No, go into more detail, Scotty. <laughs> no, I think I won't. Uh, Derek, how about you? Jeez. Uh, Let's go with mm, Climax, Georgia. Fuck. <laughs> is it spelled s- with an I? C-L-I-M-A-X. That is fucking great. Population 273. Well, they're not climaxing enough. Okay. I get two. Oh, shit. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Y, Arizona. W-H-Y. And then I'm going to go with, I don't know, this says it's a real fucking place, but I'm going to go with Truth or Consequences, mm-hmm. New, New Mexico. Mexico. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> good going, New Mexico there. Derek? Uh, I'm going to go with, 
Where'd it go? Whores Edition Delaware. <laughs> no way. H O A R S Edition <laughs> Delaware. <laughs> oh, gotta love those people in Delaware, man. I had to get a Delaware. You one gotta on there. get a Delaware in there. That's the best one. Jeremy, you get two. Uh, Toad Suck, Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, I saw that one. Fuck. And Horny Town, North Carolina. <laughs> Damn. These are all good. I'm going to lose again. Probably. I know. That's because people don't like you. Uh huh. Okay, Derek, you get two. Or you get one, sorry. Knob Lick, Kentucky. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Were you going for that one? Yeah, yeah. I got a whole bunch that I was going for. I figured they'd come back, but why would I do that? Uh, let's <laughs> see. Oh, I got my last one. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I got two, so I'm gonna go with Colon, Michigan. Okay. And then, man, do I really want? Uh, there gotta be some better ones than this. I don't know. I, I guess I gotta go with Hooker, Oklahoma. All right. So that's my uh, that's my team. Derek, last pick, Felchville, Massachusetts. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Perfect. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> What's the population of those fuckers? I don't know. Let me look it up. <laughs> okay. While you're looking that up, Jeremy, you get last pick, buddy. Mm. There's a lot to choose from. Yeah, there is. <laughs> uh, Let's see. I think I may have already said that one. You've got Pussyville, Spread Eagle, Toad Suck, Horny Town. <laughs> Bald Knob. <laughs> okay. Arkansas. They got some great names down there in Bald or in uh, Arkansas, you know? Mm-hmm. I wonder what they named their kids. Slash cousins. All right. That is this week's draft of our what are these? The the our favorite our favorite city, US city names. There's a bunch in other countries. <laughs> oh, are there? What do you got in other countries? Cockburn, Western Australia. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Twat <laughs> Shet- on the Shetland Islands of Scotland. Uh, there's one that's about 50 letters long in New Zealand that can't be pronounced by human tongue. Uh, Titty Hill, Sussex, England. Uh, thong in, in England. Um, let's see. Gravesend. Wet Wang in Yorkshire. <laughs> of course. Um, let's see. Cock up. Oh, that's in in England. Okay. Um, cocks up for Harambe. <laughs> yeah. There's also Hookerville in West Virginia. Oh, okay. Uh, there's Hell, Michigan. Flipping um, Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Middle fart, Denmark. <laughs> Uh, let's that see. one never gets the respect. <laughs> no, it's always no. the old fart and the young fart. <laughs> never the middle, never the middle fart. fart. Yeah. It's the Jan Brady of farts. <laughs> You're going to think I'm making this up. <laughs> Fucking Australia. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love those Aussies, uh-huh. man. They, uh, Hang on. Let me pull up Google. Why? How to move to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Delaney did it. Yep, Delaney yeah. sure did. I think I think he's 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 born there. I'm pretty sure. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Australia. Fucking Australia. <laughs> That's either the best or the worst name ever. <laughs> that should be the capital. Fuck. There's, <laughs> there's also Anus France. <laughs> well, like you do. They there's like it. Accident Maryland. <laughs> yeah, I saw that one too. What's uh, the one? There's Anus. There's an Anus in in Missouri, I think, or something like that. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised. But anyways, There's guys. There's Hathol, Massachusetts. It's Uranus, oh. Missouri, I think. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. But anyways, guys, that is our draft for this week. Uh, you can go on Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for your favorite list of great named U.S. cities uh, by clicking on the corresponding emoji, and uh, that'll determine who wins our draft. There's Bastard Town in Ireland. Yeah, well, there's a bunch of those. Beaverlick, but, Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew that one. Uh, but now moving on, now we get to get on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fangerbang Beer. 
and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, on the morning of uh, March 8th, 1924, the uh, people working at the uh, Castlegate Coal Mine, that's in Utah, about mm. 90 miles uh, southeast of Salt Lake City, um, were awakened very startling. Um, a series of three explosions uh, occurred down in the mines. They occurred... Uh, they think there was a failure to properly dampen the coal dust, and uh, when one of the miners attempted to light a gas lamp, it set off a series of three gargantuan explosions that created a huge cave-in, killing all 171 miners that were Shit. working that day. Um, oddly enough, this makes it the second worst disaster in Utah history. <laughs> second worst mining disaster in Utah history. So uh, if you want to be a miner, you may not want to go to Utah. Um but now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, miners check in. They don't check out. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you talk about miners, are we talking pickaxe or no pubic hair? I have no answer to that, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this For legal reasons. Right. For this week's shitty situation. Last week's we should have done differently. Okay. Because we did amputees, and I mean, there's, I mean, I did some Google, and there's some pretty hot amputees. Uh -huh. That's true. So we should have made it elderly people or morbidly obese people. Yeah, we should. So basically, would you rather watch me fuck or Jeremy fuck? <laughs> uh, Jeremy, you kind of get a little bit of both. Would you rather watch me right. fuck or Jeremy masturbate? <laughs> like that's. <laughs> Thank God for not doing that. <laughs> Um, or not? No, no. <laughs> that's the big finale. No, that's what I had prepared for. Okay. <laughs> um, sorry, I was too busy thinking about uh, you know 171 mining deaths. Now I'm ready, <laughs> I'm ready to masturbate. <laughs> He's all fucking hard. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna I'm get hard as coal. <laughs> you're gonna give him blue balls, Scotty. Go finish him off. Nope, I'm good. Um, this Come week's on, Scotty. No, fuck. No, this week's <laughs> shitty situation is. Would you rather? He's going to be in pain. <laughs> no, you know this is on He's you. Your friend. you know this what? is on you, let's, Scotty. Let's at least get through the episode first, okay? You don't want Jeremy to be in pain. He's no, your friend. I know. He's my friend. Um, our shitty situation for the week is, would you rather have to wear leggings every day for a month, or would you rather constantly get hit on by the elderly for a month? Like aggressively hit aggressively on. Aggressively hit on. Not just a, a wink. Yeah, like yeah. they're they're trying to fuck you. They're groping like, you. Like nonstop. You're yeah. getting cat called like a construction worker does a oh. fucking young woman. <laughs> 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 well, um God dang it. This is kind of this is that's tough. tough. That's really tough. You don't have to fuck them. No. But it's just awkward. Yeah. And like, uncomfortable. Like what if it's your grandma's friend? God. That would be bad. Well, my grandma's friends are dead. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never know, Derek. Um, they were killed in a mining accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I, I guess, uh, no, nah, it's too uncomfortable. I, I, I'm going to go with leggings every day. I've got a nice ass, and, and I'd show it off. Your nice dwarf ass. My nice dwarf <laughs> dwarfism <laughs> ass, man. I'm uh, not quite, you know, missing the mark. I'm, I'm taller than a dwarf is, barely. If you say so. Leggings. Leggings it is. How about uh, how about you guys? Derek? Oh, God. I got no ass and a tiny peen. <laughs> and I don't need the world to know it. <laughs> they already do. I don't like being, like, uncomfortable, though. Oh. <laughs> I, like, there's nothing worse than that. Like, that is just... Physically? Or, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like... Well, not physically. Like, like, like the uh, the hitting on. That, uh, that would just make me... Awkward? Oh, God. Like, I don't like it when an ugly stripper does it. <laughs> I can't imagine a fucking, like, 85-year-old in a wheelchair... Like, let's take this back to my place. <laughs> I think I can't do that. I'm going to have to go with fucking leggings. Oh, God, yeah, buddy. Damn man, it. Man, you're going to look great. Oh, <laughs> that's going to be so gross for everyone. <laughs> but I'd rather make them uncomfortable than them make me uncomfortable. Right. Jeremy? Oh, I'm going to get hit on by the old folks. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I know they won't leave me with blue balls. <laughs> True. Uh, yeah, they're gonna I'm going to show up in leggings just to make him hit on me harder. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to do both. Like, yeah. Oh, I look God. good in the leggings. Yeah. Jeggings. Jeggings? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the jean leggings? Yeah. <laughs> they're Jeremy leggings. They're Jeremy. Jeggings. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's, yeah, they're special. They're they're Shows uh, up my jags. Chief that, chief leggings for yeah, Jeremy. That, that's exactly right. This is gonna be your new product, Jeremy. This yeah. is gonna be uh, the jeggings, man. You gotta love it. You know, I got to thinking about uh, one of our questions. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Life for Native Americans changed forever when white men, I think, introduced them to uh, notepads. Oh yeah. Now you got the big chief notepad. Oh yeah. I yeah. was thinking along the same way with uh, Lando Lakes. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Butter. You gotta love it. Or. Ironically, Dan Snyder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of in some trouble right now. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is our episode for this week. Um, I do want to give a shout out. I, If you guys haven't noticed, I'm wearing my Justin Nunnally shirt. Uh, give a shout out to Justin Nunnally. Get, uh, He's his. got a way funnier TikTok than we do. <laughs> uh, it's questionable. Uh, but you can get shirts like this at justinnunnally.com. So there's a plug for you there, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Um, but anybody got any shows coming up this week? Yep. We got shows. Shows. Uh-huh. When? Where? Oh, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. Uh, uh, Thursday at 8, Friday at 7.30 and 10, and Saturday at 7.30 and 10 at the Looney Bin Comedy Club. Uh, down at 2nd and St. Francis here in Wichita. So basically, you've got them Thursday, Thursday the Friday. 10th, Friday the 11th, and Saturday, you said? Yeah. The Saturday the 12th. 10th through the 12th, yeah. 10th through the 12th. Thursday, okay. Friday, Saturday. 10th through the 12th. Looney Bin Comedy I Club. I that's what I said. I, I think that's what you said. Okay. Looney Bin Comedy Club. Go check out Derek. How about you down there, Jeremy? You got any shows? Just this one. Just this one? And I wish I didn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> who's, who's headlining, you said? I think his name's Graham K. Hmm, Canadian not, fella. That's Real good gross. Guy. Real Fucking good gross. Guy. Graham Cracker? Graham K. Oh, a little cracker. Oh, yeah. He's never probably been called that. I'm sure not. No. No. Uh, but anyways, as always, guys, thank you so very much for uh, growing the show. It, it keeps, it, it continues to grow. Um, and that's because of you guys. You guys commenting, sharing our uh, TikToks, our Instagram videos. You can you can subscribe to us at uh, Instagram, uh, at Laughing on the Sidelines. Uh, TikTok, as always, the more you guys share us, the, the bigger we seem to get. So thank you guys for doing that. And like we always like to say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. And if you don't like us, uh, we hope you get stuck in a dunk tank full of horse piss. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> stuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not just fall into. You're, you're wedged. <laughs> like it's, it's frozen over at the top, and now you can't get back up. Wow. Yeah. Wow. If you don't like us. And tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. America runs on Duncan. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all. Take care. <laughs>